Transformational leaders inspire people to achieve unexpected or remarkable results. They are often the ones who create leaders from followers. Dr. Paloma Mohammed, one of the country's most prolific academics, said Guyana's education system needs more transformational leaders. These are the people who can let people ignite people's passion. So get them to understand how to do it. And whether they work for a lot of money, no money, or other of money, they will get there because this is passion, this is me, and this is love. Addressing an audience of mainly educators at the Caribbean Conference on Educational Leadership hosted by the School of the Nations on Thursday, Dr. Mohammed said becoming a transformational leader has a lot to do with one's personal outlook on life. But it comes back to us as people. What are we thinking of? Who are we? Who do we want to create? What kind of country do we want to live in? And who are we creating? For the next 20 years. According to Dr. Mohammed, teachers are the ones who hold the power to recognize and help develop a student's full potential. This Caribbean Conference on Educational Leadership is a two-day event organized by the School of the Nations in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and the British High Commission. We're here at the Caribbean Conference on Educational Leadership being organized by the School of the Nations. With me here is um, the institution's director, Dr. Brian O'Toole. Dr. O'Toole, could you tell me a bit about the objectives of this activity here today? Sure. Uh, well, we're delighted that we now have a partnership with the Ministry of Education and it's to, in sorry, <coughs> it's to introduce the Certificate in Educational Leadership from Cambridge University. And we have the head of Cambridge University for the Americas here. So this conference really is to launch that, to let people know what the program is, to get them to sign up and to get a certificate from one of the best universities in the world. The conference will feature presentations from leading personalities from around the world in the field of education. For example, there will be a presentation done by Aziz Royesh, who founded a school in one of the most difficult and dangerous environments in the world, Afghanistan. Gordon Naylor from Canada will focus on the role of performing arts in transforming education. Presentations will also be done by educators from the USA, the UK, Gambia and Argentina. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.